Recent study, a recent study finds 95% of Americans are now using cell phones. That's prompted public health officials in California to issue groundbreaking guidelines to limit exposure to cell phone radiation. John Blackstone has more. California officials say the warning about keeping a cell phone pressed up against your ear was issued largely because radio frequency emissions could be damaging, particularly to children. Now children on average are starting at the age of 10 and using cell phones for a lot of activities. California's Department of Public Health recommends using the speakerphone or headphones, sleeping at least an arm's length away from it, and avoiding keeping it in your pocket. The move comes after a three-year-long legal battle by Joel Moskowitz, who forced the state to release a long-secret study of cell phone risk. Has California been suppressing information it has about the dangers of cell phones? I think that's safe to say at this point. There's been a considerable amount of suppression. They wouldn't call it that. They would claim the science wasn't strong enough. California's warning says that while the science is still evolving, some studies suggest a link between high cell phone use and brain cancer, lower sperm count, and headaches. Certainly there are those who say this is going to cause panic. People are not going to give up these devices. That's not what we're seeking what we're seeking is that people take the appropriate cautions and reduce their risk substantially. Moskowitz sees parallels with the decades of debate over whether or not smoking was a health risk. This is just like the history of tobacco. Now, unlike cigarettes, cell phones are actually useful for something. Professor Stan Glantz uncovered long-secret tobacco company research that revealed the dangers of smoking. He's watching the science on cell phones. The case is by no means closed yet, but there's certainly enough evidence to be concerned uh, to the point that I don't usually carry a cell phone. California is not alone in this warning. The Food and Drug Administration says on its website the risk is probably very small, but suggests using speaker mode or a headset. And Apple includes a warning of sorts on all iPhones, but it's not easy to find. You have to go to Settings, General, About, down to the bottom here to legal, then to RF exposure, where finally Apple suggests you use the speakerphone or headphones to reduce exposure to radio frequency emissions. For CBS This Morning Saturday, John Blackstone, San Francisco.